Hey, Steve, how is uh, Ken Bazemore handled um, kind of sliding into that, that more of a veteran locker room presence and not playing these last couple of games? Yeah, Kent has handled it beautifully. Um, you know, that you, it, this stuff can't work unless everybody is all in, you know, and, and uh, Kent's all in and uh, he's going to play. His time's going to come. Um, you know, we're always going to look at different players, different combinations. You guys know me as a as a coach. I rarely, if ever, let anybody fester on the bench. Um, I like to keep guys engaged because I was one of those guys uh, who was in and out of the rotation. And there's no worse feeling than sitting on the bench bench uh, for weeks at a time. So Kent will find himself out there uh, soon, and uh, other players will have to go through the same uh, process of uh, not being in the rotation, and then they've got to handle it the same way Kent handled it. Uh, but we're lucky to have him. He's a, he's a pro. He's a great veteran and a voice in our locker room, and we're going to need him on the court too. Was that something you guys talked about with him when, when you signed him, that it, it could be a little bit more of an edge of the rotation type role? Yeah, I talked to all of our players you know, at the beginning of every year or, or when we signed them, and uh, – Bob always gets mad at me because we try to sign these free agents, and I, I'm always, you know, perfectly honest. You know, Bob, <laughs> Bob and I laugh. He, you know, it's a joke, but he's like, he's like, just tell them they're going to play. I mean, geez, we got to sign them. Uh, but I'm always really, really open uh, with everybody, and usually, um, you know, if I'm if I'm going to take somebody out of the rotation, I'll tell that player, and and uh, so guys know what's coming, and then it's just important that they stay ready.